Hello everyone, my name is Samo Vujic and today I'll be teaching you guys how to play volleyball. So this is a story about last year. This picture was taken, I'm a freshman, so this was my senior year in high school. This was one of the best years for my volleyball career because my team and I won section champs, as <coughs> you can see, I'm right there. <laughs> um, Throughout the whole season, we've been doubted by this one journalist. His name was Mike Zacchio. He would talk about my school and how we're good, but how good are we because we're undefeated here. And our record was 20 wins and zero losses. So that was a good time in my life. Today I'll be teaching the skills of volleyball, the three major rules, and what volleyball means to me personally and could mean to any of you if you want to play volleyball. So there are five skills, which is passing, setting, hitting, blocking, and serving. Just a question, which one do you think is the easiest? Setting. Setting? I don't know. Why? Because you just have to push it straight up in the air. No? No, that's actually the hardest. Oh. As you can see in this picture, she would be a typical setter, and these are all the oh. sets and types of things that she has to give for her players. The setter is basically the quarterback of the team. They have to know every play. They have to know where their hitters like to hit, where their passers pass, and these are just some of the sets that they would need. So there are three front positions, an outside hitter, which is what I am, so I stay on this side, a middle hitter, which stays in the middle, and a right side hitter, which stays on the right side, which is also known as the opposite. So the right side gets all of these back sets, which is pretty hard because the setter can't see the ball, so she passes it back this way. The middles usually hit a one and a two, and I would typically hit a three and a four. <coughs> and I just want to give two videos of the types of serve. So there's a topspin serve, where you throw it up and you run and jump and hit it. And then there's a float serve, where you can also jump and toss it up and hit it with your hand that's flat so it doesn't spin. And that was in, that's what we call an ace where nobody can get the ball up. And this is a float serve. I he hits it flat with his hand and it doesn't spin in the air. Those are usually harder to get than the top spin one, believe it or not. Now for the three major rules, there's a double, a touch, and a carry. Each call has a certain sign. So this is a touch. Let's say the ball is going out and a girl touches it by accident, or even if her hair touches it. That's the other team's point. So the referee <coughs> would blow his whistle and call a touch. A double is usually called on a setter because setters aren't supposed to spin the ball when they go to set. It's supposed to be a clean set. And if they do do that, then the ref will blow his whistle and put up a two for a double. A carry is a little bit tricky because you're supposed to technically hit the ball with your pass. And if you carry it, it doesn't really hit your forearm. It kind of just stays there and you throw it up like this. Or if you're going to block like this and you catch the ball and then throw it back, that's not a block, that's a carry. So the ref would blow his whistle and call a carry. And why volleyball is rewarding to play for me, which like I said, can also be for any of you if you wanna play volleyball. It's a feeling of accomplishment. As an athlete, I obviously like to win and hate losing and stuff. So to even win and be with the team and have a good practice it makes me feel good and hopefully makes my teammates feel good as well. Also, it helps me stay in shape because I know that if I did not play volleyball, I would probably be like 100 pounds, 100 and something billion pounds. <laughs> it also teaches skills like social and communicative skills. While being on the court, you have to call mine, it's my ball, back off, I'm gonna get it, otherwise you're gonna smack it to your teammate or hit the head or something. So you really have to call my ball, and tell them it's mine, you gotta back off. And also, for a setting, you have to call 444 or three or two or whatever you wanna hit, so you really have to talk and be friends with your teammate. You can't just not have a connection on the court. And today,
today, we all learned the five skills of volleyball, the three rules of volleyball, and the importance to me. As you can see, this is a Stanford team. And I just want to point out that she's 6'6", six, six, and she's 6'8". <laughs> so that's nice. And I just wanted to give a little quote. Sarah Strong, dig fierce, and spike hard. And I wanted to put this cute picture. <laughs> that's all. Thank you.